Sound is recording now. Wait, let's direct our attention to the camera. Hello, my name is Ed Jondrell, this is Richard Weil. Hello. Right, and today we will be talking about the panda bears. Um, obviously, it's a very popular creature, it's quite adorable and cuddly. Uh, in celebrity terms, I would say that the panda bear is the Johnny Depp of the panda world. Uh, would you agree with this? I would, I would definitely agree, talent-wise. Looks-wise, mm. maybe not the, quite the comparison I would have gone with. Yeah, uh, Johnny Depp shaves a little bit more than the panda bears. So. Yeah, and panda bears are more like black and white, and Johnny Depp's usually, well, depending on what he's wearing, is... Well, no, because in Sweeney Todd, he was quite black and he's white. He's quite black he? and white, right. So, yeah, uh, that, quite heavily on the makeup. Anyway. Yeah, so um, Johnny Depp is a panda bear in Sweeney Todd. They don't explain that to you in the story, but it's true. Anyway, um, very serious subject. Panda bears are endangered. And obviously, people are trying to help. They're trying to get them to breed, which a lot of the time is going unsuccessfully because panda bears are just the least horny creatures in the world. Um, right. Well, they're... It takes a lot to get them to shag each other. They, they, really? In some places, they even show pandas videos. Pan, they show them panda bear porn, yeah. so that they know what to do. As if they've sort of, it's been so long, they just sit around going, "Huh, so that's how it's done." All that. right then. Usually, um, um, animals are quite. You know, they, they don't know what they're doing. Basically, don't they? Not panda mean? bears. No. Well, not panda bears. Not panda bears. And um, so yeah, there's that problem. There's also. Uh, Basically, the population is just in massive decline. And I have an idea that could not only solve panda bears, okay. uh, fuel problems, um, world starvation. Yeah, this is, all, this is all going to happen. And the economy is going to get sorted out as well. And I'm going to do this with one simple solution. And that is to farm pandas. Get now, this man a seat on Oprah. Yes, on Oprah. <laughs> Oprah. Oprah, if you're listening, get me a fucking seat right now. I want a paycheck! <laughs> <laughs> so ba basically, uh, obviously because of the whole, they, they aren't horny enough to make their own babies, we clone them, we already know that we can do this, we can clone sheep, we can clone a panda bear, it's, like, it's that easy. Um, so obviously there'll be more panda bears then, we can use them as food, which solves the world hunger issue, it's creating jobs because panda bears, obviously it's quite an adorable animal, and it's going to become a popular meat if anything, um, if lambs are anything to go off. Because lambs are adorable. You see them like when they're first born. They're just hopping mm. around, being all cute. They've got clouds everywhere, oh, and like... it's always sunny when a lambs around. But we kill them and eat them, and we love exactly. it. That's what I mean. That's the thing. What I don't get about lambs is that they're adorable creatures. Everyone goes, "Oh, look, a little lamb," but then they'll go ahead and eat that with their Sunday roast on a Sunday afternoon. It's because adorable things. You just can't wait to kill it and cook it. Uh, so that's gonna like that's panda bears solving world hunger. Sick human beings. But, but we're going to sort with this sick human beings, as you call them, the sick human beings are going to save the panda population and let people in the third world countries who are currently starving to death have something to eat. As well as that, panda bears, um, they're obviously quite big and fat and stuff like that. Yeah. I think we could use them as a good source of fuel. I was going to say, I was wondering when you were going to get to that point. Yeah, the fuel. How is the fuel thing? Please, you've got to explain this to me. How is okay. saving the pandas going to help us with fuel? Okay, um... This, back in Victorian times, this is a bit of history for you, back in Victorian okay. times, they used whale blubber. Is that right? Do whales have blubber? Whale fat. They, they basically uh, liposuction whales, so that's why there was a lot of skinny whales in Victorian times. Right. Um, okay. and, and they used the fat to burn lamps in the street, obviously because they didn't have electricity. Now, if fat from whales are going to burn like that, and we've got uh, a limitless supply of pandas, who are quite fat anyway, we can suck the fat out of them, use that as fuel, or just throw the pandas into, dead obviously, dead and dry pandas, into a furnace to power um, power stations. Now, I can understand maybe, you know, like, maybe sucking fat from pandas, because you'd be able to neutralise Don't do it this, don't do this while you're talking about sucking. Yeah, okay, <laughs> I won't do that, but I'm just thinking, like, so they used to do that to whales. Who well, the hell can't... would be able to catch a whale? Whalers. The Japanese are doing a very good job of it right now. Really? I don't understand whales. that you could, you could catch whales. We're going to put some footage here of uh, whaling, which I'm completely against, because, you know, whales, again, they're endangered, but it's a lot harder to clone whales and farm whales. Um, but pandas... See, how much do whales weigh? A lot. Exactly, but a few that's tons. what I mean. Do they need, like, about 50 blokes going out? Going out at once to do this whaling. 
I don't think that they like go in the sea, pick the whales up, and then bring them on. They, they whales with... cocks must weigh about two stone. Well, pff, two stone, something about like that. About twenty stone by itself. Whales cocks are like the biggest cocks in the world, aren't they? Uh, a few, anyway. possibly. I've not, I've not measured every penis in the world, but I'm pretty sure that whales are probably well in. It's a well-known fact that the whale has the biggest cock. Not to say that I've been going around the world measuring <laughs> everyone's cock, but it's a well-known fact that whales have massive cocks. Uh, have you seen a duck's penis? That can get pretty long. We're gonna put a picture really? of a duck's. Right, look now for a picture of a duck's penis. What? Pretty fucking big, isn't it? Um, so yeah, basically. I'm yet to look at this picture yet. So um, anyway, if, if you've got alternatives on how to solve the panda crisis um, that solve as many issues as mine, then please let us know. Otherwise, we are going to, going ahead with the panda farms. Richard, right into you... Parliament. It's, the letter's been written. Really? Yeah, Cameron's behind this 100. percent Well, unless you have just any goes to do you have anything to do you have anything else to say? Regarding the pandas, I think it is going to be disappointing to see the the pandas like become extinct. You know, I, I say I quite like pandas. But do I you think, think the farming idea is a good idea? I think the farming idea sounds like a good idea. You know, obviously. Ooh, I think ooh. another thing I've just thought of: we could, if we could manage to domesticate pandas, we can also keep them as pets. Who wants a panda pet? This is what the farms will provide: food, fuel, pandas, and pets. Could they be trained as pets? We could. We'll find out. Hmm. House train panda. Well, be a bit of a weird one, wouldn't it? I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna do some research into panda poo as well, just to see what you'd have to put up with whilst it was learning to shit outside. <laughs> yeah, hey, I tell you what, the the real issue should be here, right? Is not how to make pandas unextinct. It's how to make snakes extinct. Now I know that's gonna cause a lot of anger and a lot of fuss, but basically. They're pretty useless, all right, and I fucking hate them. So I, I, what? I put my vote to make snakes extinct. Well, I'm sure that there's an animal that pisses you off even more that snakes eat. So let's let's do some research about this, and we'll, at some point we should do another video about the usefulness mm. of snakes. Or, or, um, we could do like a video to talk about how snakes are useful, how they aren't useful, and then decide whether or not to get rid of them. Like a bit of a room one on one. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. To be honest, right now, my hate of snakes is well known. I, I think I actually have a phobia of snakes. That is why the mongoose, mongoose, whatever you want to call them. Mongai. They are the, the most brilliant pet in the world. And do you know why? Because they kick the crap out of snakes, that's why. There's loads, I tell you what, play a video. Play a video of a mongoose absolutely owning a big python and kicking shit out of it. I watch those videos all day long. That is a weird hobby. And on that cheery note, thank you and goodbye. Again, my name is Ed Jondrell, and this is... Richard Wilde. Peace. Can you spot my phone on silent? Um, no. No, right, I'll leave it there. Well, are you expecting a call? No. Is April expecting to call you? No. Are you Not sure? Not a call, no. Not a call, text. Right, put it on silent anyway, then. Well, I'm pretty sure that the panda bear could actually kill you without... You know, without thinking twice about it. I don't... I think I can get let's, let's a pretty good scrap with Johnny Depp, to be honest. <laughs> Me and you, Rick, we just changed the world. <laughs>